Sunlight, Chapter 5 Finally, I was able to see him again after two weeks. It seemed I was careless and left his window open when I tucked him in during our last encounter. He didn't mind, but to this day it has been one of my greatest regrets. Because if I had been more scrupulous like I always am, we may have had longer. Whenever I care greatly for someone, this feature tends to vanish, and sadly I become inconsiderate, less understanding, and just pure blind to anything not direct. Regardless, this encounter started with him in pain, which quickly subsided before I could even react. He then looked to my long face and told me not to blame myself. His insomnia was the cause this time. I had asked him, did he not take his sleeping pills? And he said he had neglected them, which caused me to raise my voice to reprimand him. He smiled and apologized to me, saying, he hasn't been yelled at in so long he'd missed it. Most at this point would consider him insane, but I smiled back. He then once again brought up reading in a way that would let me know this would be our last talk of it, before it became taboo to us. Telling me he found nothing in it, and nothing in heroes anymore. He then apologized, saying how all we talk about are the same things day after day. That idiot thought he was taking up my time and being selfish and inconsiderate towards me? No. Instead, through me, he had been writing a legacy. One I could look back on, a memory to cherish. But despite this, he'd hoped I wouldn't become spiteful. For that was indeed why he liked me. Because I was so willing to grant him my time. Because in truth, time is invaluable. He then concluded our visit, saying he'd wish to see me again. I suppose in his condition and the circumstances, he did use far too many words. <laughs> I'd better stop rambling. It's not like this is the end, right?